Hey guys, on today's video, we're gonna do a quick unboxing right here. So let's just look around the box and show you all the information around the box. Okay, just in case there's any information that's missing from the website, this is around the box, all right? Anyways, right here, we're just gonna open this up and see what we get inside. So this is a quick unboxing. We're gonna do a test review setup and all those videos later on. Right now we're just gonna see exactly what we get inside the box. And let's just open this up. Ooh, it's pretty small. And I like the heaviness that it's got to it. Like, yeah, I like when technology has some heaviness to it. So also it feels really cheap. This feels like a metal case around it, yeah. Feels pretty good. It looks pretty good. Yeah, feels like quality right here, guys. Feels like quality. Now, I've gotten other ones that are plastic, you know. They, they're not as heavy as this, but uh, they still work just fine. So I can only assume this one will work excellent. So the ports around it. So here we have laying out, mic, laying in. We've got connection right there, connection right there, connection right there. Those are HDMIs. In and out, which you obviously need. You always need that in order for these guys to work properly. And it is pretty small. If you put on my hand, you guys can see how small it is. Now let's just take a look at what else is in the box before we get more into it. And right here, I can see a couple of things. Uh, this looks kind of weird. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought it was dirty or something, but it's just actually the plastic around it. So if we take out the plastic, like so, then we see it nice and clean. Excellent adapter. These adapters are very, very useful and we'll probably end up using one, maybe, depending. We can do our setup with or without them, doesn't really matter. So I'll take out those protectors so you guys can see how clean they look. So we got two of these, two USB. There we go. Then we have this cable right here. That's perfect. We're getting everything that we could ever need. So that's ideal. I have another one right here. Yeah, that's just regular USB. Put that on the side. And we've got this cable. Most likely the setup I want to do is without having all these adapters, just because I do have USB-C. So that's not going to be a problem. And I'm glad they're using USB-C because that is the future, really. The future is now. Anyways, when it comes to these things, and uh, we're gonna look in here, we also get HDMI cable, which I'm happy to get because there's so many things right now that you don't get an HDMI cable and you really need one. So finally, somebody has thought of everything. So I'm glad we get a standard HDMI cable, which we will need. So this is it. This is everything you guys get inside the box. I couldn't really ask for more adapters and everything in order for this to work properly. The setup for this game capture card is actually pretty easy. So I will be going over that in another video plus a review and then a few other videos where I show you guys how to really handle this guy and get the most out of it. So once again, I'm going to show you the capture card so you guys can have a good idea of how this looks like. Like I said, this feels pretty good. It's half the size of an iPhone, for example. So it's not too big, not too small. It is on the heavy side compared to other capture cards that I've done before. And uh, those have been plastic. This is metal, so that's the difference in weight. Plus, I do like the fact, again, weight does matter. <laughs> it comes down to quality and this does feel like quality. Anyways, hopefully this video gave you a really good idea of what you guys get inside the box how this capture card looks like and everything about it. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.